Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a wet 52 degree Sunday, the 7th of April. And uh, in between the bouts of rain here, I've been trying to come out here and do me some do me some weeding with my newly acquired tool. <laughs> um, yeah, Mother Nature hasn't been cooperating, but it looks like I might have a little break. As I walked out here, it started pouring down on me because it stopped and the sidewalk started drying up. I said, Told Kelly, I said, head on out there. Come walk out here, it's pounding on me. So uh, I'm gonna go out there and tackle some stuff. See how far I get. Ain't I? Man, that thing is brutal. Even with the harness, shoulder harness, and all that stuff on there, that thing, uh, it gave me some learning. I did all that back fence over there with all the blackberries. And, um, that cuts right through hog wire that I found that was laid over on the ground. Not a nick anywhere. I mean, not one nick. That thing is not for the faint of heart, I'm telling you. You need a full full face mask, too. You can't, can't do it uh, with just safety glasses on. Cause, and you definitely can't do it without gloves because it, it'll beat the heck out of your hands because it throws the stuff back at you. It's brutal. You're, you're getting a pounding. That's why I wore my Carhartt jacket and the neck wasn't tight enough so blackberries went all down my neck. I had it zipped all the way up because it wasn't tight enough. But I went through a whole tank of gas. It wasn't full either. I was, I don't know, half, half, three quarters full. Somewhere thereabouts. Yeah, buddy. Man, what an animal that thing is. Jeez. Look at them clouds right there. Got some more nasty ones moving in. Every once in a while, the sun would pop out. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all, all I'm doing for the day. <laughs> what the heck time is it now? There's some of that stuff I couldn't get because of that laid down hallware and it's all carrying. Oh, good Lord, it's 10 to 6. Holy moly. What happened to this day? Super impressed, though. That's one. Oh, Lord. Yeah. That's one bad mamma jamma right there. And it just doesn't even... It, it slows down because, like, when I hit the hallware out there, it'd go whang. Make a loud noise, I'd let go of the throttle. It just cut right through it like I had bolt cutters out there. Yeah, she's, she is, she's no joke. Whew. Good Lord, how long was I out there? I had to keep stopping and pulling stuff out of the fence and trying to kick that hog wire the best I could. It was just full of blackberries back there. Yeah, I had I had these visions of doing way, way, way more than I did. So I went along the outside of the fence or the yard side of the fence first. Because some of them were even growing over there. And they get me when I'm out there mowing the lawn when I pass by. And then um, then I went to the other side of the fence. And that's where the, the big honking roots of them were. And big old roots and then things easily an inch around. I mean, out some old growth blackberries there. And it just whack goes right through them. It don't mess around. I need to do, keep doing that because, uh, you know, them things are, you can kind of see them starting to bloom, but not really yet. Get them while they're, they're all thin. Plus, they get thick enough once they, uh, they bloom up. The hornets like to make nests inside them. And um, you need to go up there and look, look very carefully and pray if there's a hornet's nest in there, the, the ball-faced hornets, because they'll come out and whack you. And now if you go up there and just rush into the tree, they're going to come get you, but they'll warn you when you're getting close. If you're walking around some bushes and like bees just seem to be bouncing off of you, uh, turn 180 from how you came in and leave because uh, they'll warn you. When they attack, it's brutal. Kelly was doing some blackberries out there by the barn 
um, the day before we took off to go to Durango back in 2014. I ain't never, I ain't never heard her scream like that. That was extreme, extreme pain. I mean, literally when four kids and she never, she never hurt that bad. And just running across the yard, I, you know, I didn't take me long to figure out what's going on. She's slapping her face and head. They got her all in the forehead and the face and it was brutal. That trooper, she put that helmet on and drove all the way to San Francisco and back. All, you know, well, we took freeway back. We went all the way down the coast, went slow and easy. Jeez, it took us two days to get there. And the rain, oh my Lord, the rain. That was brutally bad. That was on that black and maroon 2015 special. That was the first year of the special series. Spider, that is. But um, that was cool. Then 2016 ended up, uh, what the, where did we go? Went on a road trip, never never was able to take a, a spider trip with Kelly and I together. And then uh, ended up, I went to the 2017 spider and the 2016 was on the floor there. And um, a couple, I think I was working on it, spider had an issue and uh, they needed a part. So they took it on their trip. They took like a 3,500, 4,000 mile trip on it. So the spider that, I liked that thing enough. I wanted to buy it. But uh, there was some mistakes made um, with uh, some buyback, or not buyback credits, but these credits that was on it. I won't go into details, but none of those were there. And it had... I don't know. I had just a little bit of warranty left on it. I said, ah, nope. Not paying. I could literally buy a 2017 for, for less than... That thing was... Uh, yeah, that thing got messed up. <laughs> Price-wise. It sat there for a long time. And once it gets to a certain age, they'll uh, they'll do whatever to get rid of it. So somebody got a really good deal on it. And um, that was it. Somebody's out driving around somewhere. And my, uh, wait a minute, I think I know that, yeah, I know the guy that ended up buying it. Yeah, they did give him a smoking deal. Well, they kind of flipped the numbers around and made it look like they, uh, they gave him way more for his trade in to, uh, I don't know how that, you know, the those sales guys can get tricky with their numbers. But, um, anyway. Yeah, that was a beat down. I ain't doing any more of that today. You got these cheap uh, Brahma boots from, from Walmart. I actually bought them to go trailing with, uh, oh, look at the scratches in them from the Blackberries. To go trailing with them with RC cars. and I mean, literally 32 bucks from Walmart. Not on sale. I guess they, they really get good reviews, but then you get people that compare them to you know, red wing boots and, you know, these two, $300 boots. And like, is that really fair to compare them against that? You bought something cheap and they fell apart in a couple of years and you're upset about that? Dude, and a lot of these guys were had them, found them on sale for like 20, 25 bucks. <laughs> Buy two of them, are you there? If they last a year and a half, two years for, for that cheap of money? I don't know, people, uh, I was talking to somebody in the comment, I just, People like that, I don't even, the criers and the and the cheap people. I don't even give them the time of day. Just not worth, not worth. Uh, yeah, I said not worth. I guess get upset about people like that. You know, I, they they just blow right off on me. You can call me names. You can call whatever, dude. You you don't matter. You're that insignificant to me. I don't have any use for people like that. You're a nice person. Get, you know, like BMW Spider people getting a fix. I'll bend over backwards for you. If you're in there bad mouthing the product, you know, talking about a bunch of BS you wrote on the read on the forums that don't even mean anything, yeah, go ahead and just leave. Right, our conversation is over.
Danny says, I agree. I like this kicking back and just being simple and happy and relaxed. Get my doggy treats because I look so cute every once in a while. Yeah. Got a gray whisker growing out of the side of your mouth. Or did you bite Sasha? Sasha and him play a lot. Rouse him around. That's it. He's going to leave me out here. Anyway, I'm going to stop BSing here. Thought I'd wind down play with an RC car here for a little bit. Look how high that grass is from just the other day. I dragged the old Gen 9 out. <laughs> <laughs> with my crazy too small of a character in there. That's all right. It's like I got in some mud or something last time I drove this thing. I see some, some, oh, I must have clicked. No? <laughs> it shifted between the gears. I must have accidentally hit Hit the button or something. Oh, we got a <laughs> got a bumper hang there. That's pretty crazy, huh? God, this remote is so slippery. It's hard to. I can't keep my hand on it. My hand just slides around on it. Uh, come on around there, old Gen Nine. Old red cats and their noisy, noisy transmixers. <laughs> that thing has all kinds of mud on it. I wonder what I was doing last time I drove it. It's probably some rainy day and I decided to just come out here. I like how the brakes in the reverse. I forget who I trick. I forget who it is. I think it's some name of a spider thing, and they're different. Cool truck, though. Maybe it's the old Annie rut I was running in. We got the mud on it last time. Look at that grass. I mean, the car is literally going to disappear in that thing. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> I was just joking, it really is. Come on back. Out there frolicking around in the tall grass. It says, as I enter the jungles. Geez, that is tall, isn't it? Man, that thing all but disappears in there. Holy moly. It's kind of wet too. That's definitely going to put mud on the tires. Look at all that scratching. One of them dogs been out here digging around in that thing. <laughs> See how the old goat goes with wet, dirty tires. I guess they're not that bad. A little light at it's kind of dark in this little area where you can sure see them front front tires turning faster than the rear that's cool this is only 10 percent, i think it was that slow crawl of the fusion there's some guy in canada i watch a lot and he has a white um traxxas tr trx4 bronco like my blue one and um <laughs> old stock motor he's been driving that thing for a while and that thing just sounds haggard and uh he got a fusion pro and put in it and his first ride out it's kind of funny the you're not expecting all that torque and, and power you know <laughs> but yeah change your world my poor little ugly duckling the little puppy that that's too ugly to show people when they come over. Am I going to slide that? That's the bad thing about that. Either overdriven front or underdriven rear. Is when you have weight transferred towards the front. If there's any angle, it tends to drag the rear wheels. 
But Danny hasn't gotten any worse on his uh on his diggings there, but it's still still messed up. That dumb dog. That thing's got the noisiest tranny in it. But it was worse, you know, typical red cat. You drive them for a while, they seem to get better. Although I see some guys that are driving some that are, you know, they got some time on them. And dude, them things are crazy loud. Wow, wow, wow. I've, there's quite a few TRX4s, which are notorious for being the one of the quietest RC cars around. And man, I don't know if you got your, your clearance between your pinion and spur gear sat too tight or what but man that thing makes way too much noise <laughs> plop my whole body down here and goof off with the let's hit the little brick bridge here right away I need to move my bricks back because that that gum red cat marksman that thing moves things around I can't, can't turn my thumb far enough because my hand slides around the back side of the controller. Moon back, moon back. I need to fill that hole in. I mean, that's going to give Sasha and Annie an idea to tunnel out. Possibly. Are you going to make it first? Nope. Did just like the K10 Hydro. You're dragging them front wheels. Well, anyway, I think I'll I'll end it with this and and uh, play around a little bit and grab the mom. We'll do a goodbye right quick. I'm just gonna goof off here and chill out for a bit, and uh, that'll be it. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, it hasn't rained yet. I'm surprised about Not that. Unwell. I mean, there's some dark clouds that was heading this way, and it's kind of passed over. Yeah, it was dumping earlier. Yeah. Off and on today, we were pounding out there. Sasha and Annie were out, and Sasha didn't even make a sound. Kelly went out and checked on her. She just painted <laughs> to the shop wall. She gets there. up on that bench and just leans against the wall. Yeah. She's pitiful. Yeah. But boy, she smells something out in that yard. She'll go romping right out in the rain. She don't care. Yeah. But otherwise... It's different when she's out roaming about. I can't get my feet wet. <laughs> <laughs> A goofball. It's funny when you walk her across when it's pouring down rain, she'll leap over all the all the puddles out there. She won't step in a puddle no matter mm -hmm. what. <laughs> and she'll just go plop, plop, plop. Yeah, she, it. yeah, that's how the Annie rut ended up back there. Mm -hmm. but, she don't uh, care. No, she don't care at all. But anyway, the weed eater worked really good. Yes. Someone was concerned I, had, concerned I had the blade on there backwards. One, the ears would be facing down. That would be violent for one thing mm -hmm. but it has uh, arrows on the bottom of it and of course it's upside down it's counterclockwise because the the blade turns clockwise and it's ear up you know it's like a 747 or something you know little tips on the end of the wings but suck this stuff up. yeah boy it works it, good yeah it eats her <laughs> it was flinging stuff with kelly was standing in the yard and i was flinging stuff all the way to her yeah I told her, so you need a full face mask for that thing because that's that's brutal yeah. She goes, yeah, I was coming all the way. I was way, but she was back a ways and it was slinging stuff and whacking her from a long ways away. Yeah, I thought, well. I that just... thing's no joke. But anyway, on that, I reckon that'll conclude our weekend. <laughs> all righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. All right. We see you in the morning. See you then. All right. Bye-bye.